my senior is here, so I should give him his due of due privilege. No, no, no. Happy, happy. <laughs> so, respected Mr. Bhima Kumar Roy is a former director of the Indian Statistical Institute and a present professor. He is famous cryptologist in 2015. Professor Roy was awarded Padma Sri Award. Can we have a big round of applause for you? <laughs> Sir, if you can share a few words with us. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And I'm happy with the initiative of NBCE for making the next generation employable, which is the most important thing to do. This is a commendable job they are doing. And since I'm a technical person and a professor, I always like to talk about some studies and some gap. And since my area is cryptology, maybe most of you don't know, I'll probably just uh, talk five minutes on this subject, uh, which is becoming very important, very important for coming days, and even for this uh, computer science world, this is going to act a very, very important role. So I tell you uh, two stories or episodes, which uh, briefly describes what you mean by this subject. The uh, first example or first story I will tell that uh, um, I have. Say I have two nieces and they fight with them always. Uh, if, if I get one gift for one niece, I have to get identical gift for the other niece. Otherwise they get very upset. And I'm blind. So I asked Sanjay, can you buy me two identical pens and give it to me? So I want to give those two pens to my two nieces. But he gets two pens. He thinks they are identical and I am blind, so he wants to prove to me that he has got two identical pens. How does he prove to me? I cannot see. Okay, so I say, okay, uh, let's play a game. I don't see, but uh, give me your two pens. I, I hold the two pens in my two hands and they take at the back. Okay, I may interchange my hands, or I may not interchange my hands. So I take the two pens into hands, take it to my back. He cannot see whether I have interchanged my hand or not. I bring the two pens again back to him. And I ask him the question, Sanjay, did I interchange my hands? He would say yes or no. I do it once again. Again, he has to say, did I interchange my hands? He has to say just yes or no. Suppose I do it. Say it ten times. Now, from his response, can I be sure whether these two pens are identical or not? Now, if they were not identical, he will be correct all the time, right? If they are different, then he will be correct all the times. But if they are identical, it's impossible for him to think so they have interchanged the hands or not. So you will abruptly say, yes, no, yes, no. At least once, you will do mistake. In time, right? So, I am proving to him, in spite of being blind, that, yes, you have given me to identical pens or not. Now this is what we have a area in this now. Suppose I want to prove to him that I know something. But I don't want to tell him that something. But I want to convince him that he will convince that I do have something. Do any of you play Sudoku? Do any of you play Sudoku game? Do you know what is a Sudoku game? Then others I, I cannot give this example. So this is something uh, what we talk about privacy. Well, this is one part of the subject. I will claim I know. Say, I, I, I claim that I know um, his income. Okay, and we'll play him. And at the end of it, without telling that income, he will be sure that I actually know his income. So this kind of communication with device, and I will play with the internet, um, and we can establish things without 
revealing privacy, that yes, I know it, and you'll be sure of it. Maybe I just give one more example. Uh, this is probably more uh, fascinating. I learned it uh, uh, in my uh, in my school time. Uh, my math teacher was very smart. So he was telling um, that uh, okay, you know, we used to have monthly exams, and he would write down our names, and beside our names, the marks I obtained, maybe out of 25, and he would put in an envelope. Was it? Thanks. We'll call the peon, Gorhorida, and ask him to take it to the headmaster. He takes the headmaster. And then he said, Do you think this is safe? But that time the subject didn't really exist. Now I was going to high school. And for, for sure my math teacher didn't know even the term cryptology. He said, Because it's not, because, you know, if you just look at a kettle, if the water boils, the steam comes out, you put the envelope before the steam. The calm will be loosened and you can open the envelope. And the peon can change the marks. Again, seal it back and send it to the headmaster. So, this communication is extremely, extremely vulnerable. So, what we will see these days when you communicate over internet is actually extremely, extremely vulnerable. But then, how do I ensure that the headmaster gets the marks that I have assigned? So he said, okay, let me design a box. Do you see these boxes with the two locks? In our time, we used to have attach cases. We don't see it uh, that much. Uh, so in a small box, there will be two locks. And unless you open both the locks, the box can't be opened. So there are two locks on, on two sides. So one lock is with me, and one lock is with the headmaster. So I put the mark sheet inside the box. With my key, I lock my side and ask the peon, go hold the, you take it to the headmaster. See the headmaster? Now he can't open it because it's only locked by me. So what he will do, he will put his lock on the other side. Okay, the key is with him. Then he will send it back to me. So the Gorhori brings the box to me. And what I should do? I'll open my lock and send it back to him. And what he will do? He will open this lock and he will access that mark sheet. So this was my high school example and I still attribute my knowledge of cryptology to my math teacher. He, he, he doesn't accept it because he said I didn't even know this term. But what he has done, actually revolution. What he was doing, there are two things here. I am making sure that he and only he can receive it and read it. At the same time, he is making sure that it's me and only me has sent it, nobody else. So we are authenticating the sender and the receiver at the same time. So in this internet world, we do all these things, protocols, designs. I think as a computer scientist, we have to handle these things because uh, the world is very different. We communicate with computers, we come to the internet. So all this communication, I want to make sure that none of us can be impersonified. So there are tools, algorithms, methods for this. And I think with these two I'll stop. I should get an idea about the subject. And uh, this is coming in a big way. It's already a big way, it's one big way. This entire computer world has to get into this uh, notion of cryptology and as a broad uh, notion is called information security, network security, communication security. All these uh, terms are used, but the basic science would be technology. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your precious words. Now I would request Mr. Function to say something. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you